I like this spot actually, this is beauty. Yeah, you, you, you couldn't get a better spot. Uh, seems like our smokers caught on fire. Oh man, I'm telling you, you have no idea how depressing that is when they when a, a big fish breaks your line and I had him right at shore too. And now I lost my lure. Hi, I'm Greg Ovens, and this is Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft. This year, Zach Fowler invited me on his second season of his 30-day survival challenge. For 30 days, we'll have to live off of plants and whatever we can catch and cook. At least the wax burns a little while, gets things going when it's wet, eh? We are at day 15, exactly halfway through the challenge. I think we've shown some pretty exciting things and some excellent scenery, excellent drone footage. Um, <clears throat> so far we've done pretty good as far as food. We've managed to get quite a few gophers, <clears throat> quite a few fish, but yesterday we only caught one. Basically, I think we need about two a day, like one each. Uh, we've been sharing the fish. They're pretty big fish, they're three pound fish, but between two people that are hiking in there and then trying to do work as well as, you know, not just hiking, but trying to build shelters and collect firewood. One fish between two of us isn't really enough for the day. We did see some gophers here this morning running around. So that indicates to me that it could clear up, maybe get warmer. Um, so maybe we can get a couple more of those. The mosquitoes seem to be dying off a bit, I hope for good, because they just drive me insane. So anyways, just kind of like a nagging wife. But anyways, so fishing this morning and then work on the shelter for the afternoon. That worm from yesterday is still alive on here. That's weird. Come on, first cast. First cast, come on. We'll see. I seem to get lucky the first two or three casts and then nothing for hours. I didn't really expect it first cast. Nice to see a grizzly bear in these slides somewhere. Cow parsnips just coming up. I mean, they're around somewhere. Not getting nothing here. I see fish swimming around. Pretty shallow though. Got one. Pretty big one. It looks pretty big. I hope he doesn't get off because. Decent size. Gotta keep pressure on him. Oh, he broke my line. Well, that's very discouraging. He snapped my line, took my hook right at shore. That is very, very depressing. He took off with my, and that was a big one. Oh man, I'm telling you, you have no idea 
how depressing that is when they when a, a big fish breaks your line and I had him right at shore too and now I lost my lure why Jeez, I had him right to shore like within one foot of shore I'm not even kidding and then all of a sudden he bolted one last time oh is that ever frustrating and not just because I lost my hook that was like a five pound fish I think that was the biggest one I've caught here so far well didn't didn't land them so it doesn't count does it now the mosquitoes are coming out just to add to the joy of it all if I got to walk around this entire lake fishing different spots I will Oh, that was a bad cast. Okay, we're getting action. Even though that was a bad cast. I got some chasers. Boy, I wish I didn't lose that stupid lure. I caught one, but I didn't have the, the film, film rolling. Um, stupid me, I didn't set the camera up, but I did get one. Because um, I just wanted to see if I could cast to the deep water, I wasn't even trying to catch one, and I got that, that one. Now I got the camera set up, and then I lose the next one. But uh, I just got to keep fishing this lake. I mean, I think it's maybe a good time of day. I can see them out there, but I can't cast far enough. I don't think we're going to have a summer. We're going to go right back into winter. No, I'm going to have to put the camera away for now. I got to warm up, set the tarp up now. Got that set up. I should have filmed it, but I built a quick little bench here. It's just that I'm so cold and frustrated. I didn't bother filming it, but I just got to dry out. This should do it. Flames are basically hitting me, but it's not going to burn me. Clothes are so wet anyway. My boots right in the flames. Probably still take an hour and a half to dry out. Pretty bloody cold. Hello. Hey. You get any more? Oh, nice. You made a chair and everything. Well, I gotta do something just to try to dry out here. Yeah. Yeah, I had one, another one on the line. Yeah. And uh, the hook broke off the lure. The hook broke? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Royally.
The 30 Day Survival Challenge Season 2 Canadian Rockies has been brought to you in part by Dr. Squatch Soap, Hidden Woodsman Gear, Go Prepared Survival, Outdoor Vitals, Wazoo Survival Gear, Simple Shot Shooting Sports, and Grim Workshop. Check out the link in the description below for the gear video of the 30 Day Survival Challenge. So it is day 16. And last night it rained hard again. All of our clothes are wet. Of course, I keep saying that. But the sun's coming out now, so maybe we can get to our new location today. <clears throat> That'd be good. <clears throat> I think we're just going to spend the day working on the uh, shelter in the trees. I don't think we'll get to the lake today. Maybe tomorrow morning first thing. That seems to be when they're biting the most. The weather has really hampered our filming efforts, so don't get discouraged. We're doing what we can. Uh, yesterday was really bad. Our clothing was soaked. Even wearing rain gear, eventually it gets through your rain gear. Your boots get soaked. And then we didn't have a proper setup to even dry our stuff. So we're going to try to get that rectified today as well. And this morning I did see a cougar. Huh? I just saw a cougar. Came down the trail and past camp and down through this other trail right over here. But cougars are elusive. We just caught a little bit of a glimpse, maybe two or three seconds, and then he was gone. But there is wildlife around. We're just not. We're going to set up the deer cam or the trail cam and see what we can capture that that we don't notice and that way the, the motion camera can catch the wildlife that's in the area for us because a lot of times we just don't have time to set a camera up if we do see something and by the time you get your camera it's gone so anyways uh, we're more than halfway through our journey we've got a lot of good film so far a lot of good ideas I love uh, Zach's net that he made yesterday. If we didn't have that net, we would have lost that big fish he caught. Because as soon as I got it in the net for him, it came off the hook. So we would have not had that fish if he didn't build that net yesterday. So that, that was right on, Zach. Good thinking. Hopefully you're gonna find the rest of the series entertaining. I know it's uh, been exhausting for us uh, working on little calories, hiking around a lot just to bring you this footage. So hopefully people appreciate it and keep watching the entire series because there's lots of interesting things to come. That water is pretty cold, I'll tell you. Oh. oh, that's hard on the hands. Good enough. I like this knife. Got this at the International Bushcraft Symposium. Lapland, Sweden. Lars Fault. Seems like our smokers caught on fire. Without losing the meat. All right, I did it. Oh, a little scrap of meat. There, it's got little spruce needles all over it. Oh, they all bring almost like this 
like a like a spruce rosemary thing going on. Very good. You all? Right? Yeah. That's good. Try it this good. And then look at that. Mm, that is See, good. They, oh, you they cooked it with the, the eggs, eggs inside yeah. of it. Mm -hmm. Cooked it with the eggs inside. Mm -hmm. See on the skin and everywhere else, all those burnt needles. I taste the spruce, it's good. The spruce was a good idea. Mm. Almost. Almost backfired on us as the uh, smoker caught on fire, but it finished smoke cooking the, uh, the whole fish just before. Just before <laughs> the kitchen caught on fire. Yeah, just before the kitchen caught on fire. <laughs> Fair amount of oil in the skin. Fatty little guy. Or gal. It's just full of eggs, mm -hmm. I guess. You want some adobo on it? Mm hmm. Mmm. Two nice sized strips of eggs right there. Beautiful pile of eggs. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. They're so rich. I'm not big on the eggs. They're so rich, so good. You don't like the eggs? No, I'm not big on them, but you like them. So. They got most of the uh, fats and all that good stuff in them. Mm -hmm. Everything a growing boy needs. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't mind a part of the liver. Yeah, though. go for the liver. You can have the liver, I'll have the eggs. Wait. All right. There's a heart. Ooh. Have a heart. <laughs> yeah. Smoke. Go away. There we go. Throw that in the fish head soup. Or fish head gopher ever stew, whatever we're calling it now. The first day we set up our little stuff down there and started on our poles, we should have just brought everything with us and moved in. Mm -hmm. Look at our tarp. We could have built a, if we were there, we would have built more stuff, built the brush guard. But then again, if we were there, we might have been working on our shelter and lost more fish because I didn't build that net. Well, we definitely would have lost this fish without that net because it came off as soon as we got it in the net. Well, that's one of the things, watching, um, alone and watching these other guys one after the next people at some point pulling their fish out and losing them losing them right on the shore and i'm like oh my goodness you know it's like what else you got to do in the evening why not build a net yeah and, um, i built a net too yeah you built they a net show up the never got seen and i caught five fish with it or saved five fish with it mm-hmm a net is a good thing to have when the fish are this size. Mm. Because you can't just lift a fish this size out of the water by the line. Mm. You're risking breaking it and losing it. Oh, he broke my line. And that was a big one. Oh, why? Oh, he snapped the line. If I would have had a net, maybe I would have got him. Yeah, in Texas we um, had a net. And it saved us, you know, some big catfish that we pulled in. Oh. One time we got it close and, and it kind of snagged on something. We lost one because of it. Yeah. Oh, man, brain cells inflating energy. <laughs> but now we have the energy to go over there. Work on the shelter. Move, move. We're changing lodgings. Move shelters, start building. Got a little break in the weather. Going to head to the final location where, the, uh, where we're building our shelter in the trees. I always neglect things. I mean, I should have filmed me taking down the tarps and the <laughs> everything. But anyways, got our stuff, sleeping bag, pack what we can. It's gonna take two trips for sure. But um, anyway, at least we're headed to the spot. Finally got a break in the weather. Take advantage of it, because it's gonna take two trips. Just looking for a spot to set the hammock up we're not ready yet to get into the trees like into the platform i think this tree here this guy here 
Just clear some stuff out of my spot for tonight. And I'll just cut maybe that guy, that guy, trim this up a bit. That'll be firewood anyway. I'll just cut that down for firewood. Make nice firewood. Found my spot. Anything we clear out is uh, firewood. I like this spot actually. This is beauty. Yeah, you, you, you couldn't get a better spot. I could spend uh, two months right here. Timber. That one just pulled out of the ground. Well, we're in better spirits now. Just being somewhere, finally, for the rest of the journey. Having all of our essentials in one spot. And hopefully the weather holds out so that we can get that thing finished. But, for tonight or whatever, this is where I'll be. You can find me on YouTube, because this is where I am. Right here. If something will happen and you fell to the ground. Now it's probably too low. Eh, maybe not. Maybe a little bit higher. A little bit higher. That's perfect. I'm getting a bunch of blueberry bushes at the bottom because they they pull out by the roots quite easy, so you grab a bunch of them together in a clump and it'll hold a lot better. You get a big windstorm and it'll pull my tarp off. The weather keeps bombarding us. Sun wants to come out, but it's snowing. I'll show you over here. Snowing on the mountains and you can see it. Hopefully you can see it. Fresh snow on the mountains. And it's snowing right now. I'm trying to hold still so you can see, but fresh snow. Past the middle of July and fresh snow. my head again. I've done that three times now. Stood up right under the I pole. Heard, yeah, so that's got to be four. I heard you say three times last time. Oh, well, maybe it's four now. Yeah. <laughs> It'll happen again. Now I have to go Mick Dodge style. But this ground is a lot colder than probably where he goes. Mm. Well, we're adapting. We're making things more comfortable. Now we just need to see a bear 
Yeah, it's too bad we didn't get a video of the cougar. Yeah, catch a fish on my fly rod. Catch a fish on my homemade rod. Yeah. And build our shelters in the trees and we can say we did it. Everything that we set out to do. That's right. Well, that's what we want to do, right? Yeah. We want to accomplish what we said we were going to do. And that, that net's just for uh, putting stuff in kind of thing? Yeah, it's just for, I want to hang it somehow near my hammock so I can like throw, you know, stuff into it. Yeah. I don't know what, yet. Whatever can go in it. Yeah. Yeah, lots of steam coming off my boots, that's what I need. Gotta get these things dried up. I'll stay up for a while babysitting them if I have to. I'm hanging it up there. The only thing that's going to get them to go away is going to be a big old boom or a, some bear spray. Yeah, well, I mean, right? we should hear anything coming. So we both got our lights, and I'll have the shotgun handy. I mean, if I would let you know if I would, I would say, okay, bear in camp, yep. taking a shot. You know what I mean? Yeah. Shoot up in the air, probably take off. Well, if you don't have time, then don't worry about it. Well, I, yeah, no, I know if there's something tearing into the... If he's, like, sniffing and nip taking nips at your... <laughs> at you while you're in the hammock, like... Um. Yeah, it's not too likely, but... But, you know, when you got fish around camp, I mean, they could come in for that, eh, so... Yeah. Hopefully I manage this safely enough. Man, it's cold. After we step away from that fire, my hands are getting numb already. Whoa. Ah, phew, I got down. <laughs> Did you see that? That's what I was always afraid of, that thing sliding off to the side. Whew. Uh, at least you didn't go crashing. Made it. Okay, well. Fairly productive day. It was all right, um, but man, alive! It would be nice if we would just we could just dry stuff out. But you know, we've done very well dealing with the weather conditions and everything else. You know, we got one fish left for breakfast. We didn't even go fishing today, so we're doing fairly well. Now well, we hung the fish up in a tree. We don't need a bear coming into camp. I mean, crikey, that could be bad. You get a bear coming into camp, that could be curtains. Crikey, could be curtains. But anyways, we haven't had any problems with bears coming into camp yet. So, and we're halfway um, with the challenge. We've seen three bears, but we have we only got a little bit of video of the one. And like always, just like that cougar, they take right off. As soon as you see them, they're gone. On to day 17 tomorrow, we're going to go to the lake, try to catch a few more fish, and really uh, make some headway on these tree shelters. So, over. <laughs>